So today I'm gonna speak about the, the new integration for Mattermost, which is written in Go. So let's go for a new Mattermost integration. So I'm William Gatua, I'm DevOps uh, and System Admin for Collaborate Productivity. So I've just came back from the Mattermost conference in Barbados. It was quite na nice, <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> uh, uh, and wonderful. Uh, but uh, I made this in one week ago, I mean, and I went to a submarine and yesterday I went to flying into the tube. So, uh, and no, now let's go deep back again uh, into an code base. So, with collaborative productivity, we we have uh, an integration with Martimos, which is quite aging right now, which, which is a V1. We it's quite in a raw state. You, you know, we we have quite uh, URLs as as buttons you need to click into the chat to make make it work. So it's not really properly integrated with the Matmot GUI. You don't don't have segmentation of access control for editing. So for example, when you push a document into into Matmot, uh, basically anyone can edit it. So it's not what you usually want. Uh, it's built on an old girl version with an old framework version, so meaning that it's built anymore with the new competitory version of Mattermost, and obviously it's all <coughs> using also the old API. So we, we, we needed some, something, something new. And before going into the details, you may ask why do we need in 2022 link an office suite with a chat up solution? And Actually, the answer is that Martinos is not a new chat up solution. You have now additional feature to the channel. Channels is actually the feature they call for uh, the chat uh, abilities of Martinos. And now they have boards, which is a Kanban-like uh, feature. Mm -hmm. And they also have playbooks, which is quite an automation to a uh, full task. Uh, and this is really useful in cybersecurity, for example, uh, for incident response, where you can have a, a properly, a properly checklist of items and, uh, and checks to, to performs. And so basically uh, the, the Kanban feature is like this, it's properly integrated with, with uh, the chat. I mean, each by default, each board uh, is associated to the channel. And uh, for the playbooks, you have uh, all this kind of usage. So I said, for example, incident resolution, but this can be also useful for a future life cycle or even for custom onboarding. So you, you know you have plenty of other solutions. And also, Collaborate Online is not only for collaborative editing, and this is cool, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. And this is something I've learned from the Barbados. I mean, when you're uploading a, uh, an Office document file, you don't have a, a nice preview. You know, this is a keynote file, this is a page file. You know, this is a, a standard, uh, I mean, uh, kind of icon. So it's not really great. So Collaborate Online could be also used as a rendering engine for this kind of, uh, of, uh, of previews. So this is a feature that is quite interesting for, for my modern most of this regard. And it's something uh, that the community and, uh, and myself are, are working towards in, uh, bringing this feature inside uh, uh, the, the Martimos integration. And this comes into the detail now. Um, the mo new Martimos plugin is having a, a new plugin architecture. Um, in the past, with Martimos, we had webhooks, slash commands, and plugins. But nowadays, there is a, a new uh, feature which are called Martimos apps. You can have more detail on th this page. And the main difference is that it's quite, I mean, it's quite a continuized uh, version of uh, a plugin, which means that an application cannot uh, make your front end crash uh, on Martimost. And this was happening in the past with the plugins. And nowadays, when we, with the apps, it's not happening anymore because everything, I mean, is properly. Uh, uh, I mean, continuized, but it's not really continuized, it's just a minimum more secure also. And Matamost apps are also tailored to, to make it work uh, on mobile and on desktop without hassle. Because in the past, this was quite a nice frame integration, but now this is using real API provided by Matamost. And so in the in the, the V2 we are working on, it's we are trying first to fix some regression because, uh, like I said, the V1 wasn't building anymore. So when we were trying to make it build, we had sometimes crashes, uh, which mean that 
when basically you are uploading a document into a chat and someone wanted to edit at the same time, uh, sometimes changes were not reflected on the other side. So uh, this is something we are working for V2, but the binary version of V1 is working nicely, I mean, but you don't have the new, uh, the new feature like at three storage improvement and file locking. And file locking is not something we had in the past with V1. Like I said previously, you were just uploading a file and anyone can uh, edit the docu document. So this was not ideal. Uh, and I wanted to, to say thank you to Chetanai Kandari, which, who is a, a community member who, who basically built mm -hmm. this World V2 solution. And I was just behind him, just trying to guide him and uh, just doing minor work, but all the, the, the flowers uh, comes to, to, to him. And basically, I'm just going to do a small demo for this. So I've just deployed uh, a Martimost instance of on working on Linux uh, 9 on scale away. And this is what we have. So this is just a, 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 the latest Martin Most version. I'm connected uh, under my username, the value get. And basically I've just in installed the, the new plugin by going to system console and uploading the, the, the plugin here and enabled it uh, here. And what I just had to do is just to enable the plugin, obviously put a Collabor Online uh, demo server. Basically, I just used the demo uh, we had, but you, you can deploy it easily with Docker. And I had to uh, to, to generate a uh, token encryption key. So this is a, for the feature for the new Matomost application. And uh, the last option is the, the file locking I was talking about is that if we enable this feature, uh, the file is only restricted to the, the person who have uploaded it. I mean, restricted in the term that he, he, other people cannot edit it. And so in practice, like you see the V2, we, it's not working yet for the generation of the terminal, but uh, we, we are working on it. And basically for an ODS file, basically you, you click on it and you <coughs> see, uh, you, you can see basically a, a preview of it. It's uh, an empty demo document I mean, made. But if this time with V2, if you click on the hamburger, I mean, uh, button, and you click see, on open with Collabora, you have the full, uh, full page uh, now, and not just a pop-up being uh, loaded anymore. And this is by default in readme. But if you click on this button, if you have the right, you can edit the document, <coughs> and it's, it's being reloaded in a, a collaborative and editing mode, I mean. And when we click on save, it's saving automatically on the disk, on uh, the, the storage uh, component from Matomos. This can be a local or even S3 uh, version. And if some people, if, if several people are opening the document at the same time, obviously the changes are reflected into, into real time. And uh, what I wanted to show you is that thanks to uh, the, the core uh, LibreOffice technology we, we are built, Collabora is built on, we do have access to some uh, nice, uh, nice feature like the ability to open a page document and, and keynotes document. Even if it's not perfect, it's quite great uh, because we can get a, a preview. And I mean, not everyone are using Macs uh, and this can be useful even for Linux user to, to open a, a keynote document. And I mean, this is working. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, and this was a dummy document I made. Yes, it's in dummy. So <laughs> this is working. So uh, perfectly. And the last feature we, we Martin Most was willing to, to develop, and this was a request from their side this time. Uh, this is something we, we talk uh, a bunch uh, of time at the Martacon conference, at the Martacon, yes. This was the ability to use Collabora Online to extract plain text information from the files. That way, when you use a search, global search engine, we can get access to the files. Except, obviously, is the file has been passport protected because we don't want anyone to, to access uh, the content of a, a passport protected file. So, basically, I think it's, it's all for me. And if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask me afterwards. Thank you.